Thanks so much to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are going shopping today. It is going to be a shopping vlog. I am so excited about it. I'm literally diving right in because I am ready. Instead of just doing like a Christmas decor video for you guys and sharing with you how I'm gonna do my apartment, I actually wanna get a whole bunch of new Christmas decor this year because I've actually been using all the same Christmas decor since college. My decor has always looked the same, same ornament, same color palette, same color scheme. I actually just wanna pick up some new Christmas decor, kind of just feeling uninspired by what I've had because I've used it for so many years. Also, Marie is here. We are gonna go Christmas Tis shopping. Tis the season. Tis the season. I've already purchased one thing this year, which I'm very excited about, and that is a brand new Christmas tree. I ended up ordering that from Terrain. And the reason I opted for this tree in particular was because it was a little bit more sparse. I wanted to go for a more sparse style. So I wanna play around with size and shape and color and texture this year. So we're just gonna head out, go to a couple of different stores. I'm thinking about hitting up Anthropology. There is a Christmas store in Los Angeles called Aldic. I'm not really sure if there's multiple of those around, but it's a really, really large Christmas store. Um, also want to go to Target, of course. We love Target, maybe Home Goods. And there's a store in Torrance called Our House, which I also might want to hit up maybe tomorrow. So yeah, we're just going to have a fun shopping day, you guys. So come along with me and let's head out. And of course, before heading out, I always set my Simply Safe home security system. I've had this for about a year and a half. Obsessed with that. I normally use a key fob just to literally click away and it is armed and ready to go. But if you guys have never heard of Simply Safe, I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown on it because it is incredible and they are the sponsor of today's video. Now, I know I've talked about Simply Safe multiple times on my channel. That's because I personally love my Simply Safe so much, but I have to mention to you guys that Simply Safe is having their best deal of the year. So if you've ever wanted to take advantage and make your home feel safer, there is no better time than now, especially with increased break-ins during the holiday season and packages being stolen, which is honestly very, very rude. And my friends over at Simply Safe allowed me to give you guys early access to their Black Friday sale, which is 50% off or more of their award-winning home security system. Now, if you've never heard of Simply Safe before, they are an innovative and very design-friendly home security system that is shipped directly to your door and setting it up is a breeze, you guys. I was able to set mine up in just an hour. You just simply download the app on your phone, follow the instructions on screen, and it literally takes you an hour to set up your entire home. They have sensors to cover every single window, room and door, and a lot of great extras like water sensors, smoke detectors, HD cameras for both indoor and now even for outdoor, featuring an ultra-wide 140-degree field of view so you can watch over your entire outdoor space. And not only that, but it actually has a 1080p HD resolution camera with an eight time zoom and a built-in spotlight with colored night vision. So you can make sure that you keep close attention to what's happening around the clock. And I've touched in the past on why I ended up getting my own home security system. And that's just because I moved from a larger complex into a smaller duplex on a main street. And I knew I just wanted to make sure that my apartment stayed nice and secure, of course, and Simply Safe was honestly the best and easiest option. So guys, make sure to take advantage of their incredible deal and save 50% or more on your Simply Safe security system during the biggest sale of the year. Visit simplysafe.com slash lonefox to learn more. The link is at the top of the description box. Thing about this store you guys is that everything's kind of separated into color stories so they have different trees pertaining to different color stories and then all the ornaments and like accessories for that tree are right around it so if you wanted to shop for like a specific color story you can do so um, and there's like so many different ornaments in little containers so far you guys this tree right here is my favorite in terms of color palette definitely a little full for me I'm not a fan of like overly done trees like this but I do like the colors here they're very natural and earthy so this is kind of a vibe I'm going for however I think I want to mix in like some rusty tones like a little bit of rust maybe like some mauvey color as well just for the colorway and then have a lot of like metallics like antique metallics that's kind of the vibe that i'm thinking i'm going for this was more of the palette i was kind of mentioning to you but i think a little bit more brown and a little bit less saturated but i love this colorway here i think it's so beautiful Pretty. I love these. This store, you guys, is massive. Look at all these trees. I feel like I'm in like a little forest or something. The colors are so stunning. Oh my gosh, look at this tree. The colors in this tree are beautiful. There's just so much stuff here. Wow, these are gorgeous.
something that I kind of noticed about the store, you guys, is that a lot of the ornaments really are larger. Like, I feel like the store is better if you have a larger scale tree. Everything's really oversized, and my tree's on the smaller side this year. I'm gonna check out the store a little bit more, and then probably move on to somewhere with some more ornament packs, and some DIY little ornaments, and some other Christmas decor that isn't extra large, but everything's so beautiful here. I normally wouldn't gravitate towards an ornament like this, but I kind of love the color in association with everything else I've picked out here. And then I could do my rusty DIY ornaments as well that I kind of have planned for. I think these are great. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up from the store and we can head to the next. Thoughts on All Deck. That store is everything for Christmas. Even if you just want to walk around and get inspired, I got very inspired in there. So many different color palettes, so many trees that are fully decorated, um, and they have a ton of ornaments, but everything there is on the larger scale. And I'm kind of going for a little bit of a smaller scale in terms of ornaments and trees and all of my decor and stuff so I think I'm gonna go ahead and head to the Topanga Mall now they have a Crate and Barrel an Anthropology and an H&M Home there which I've never been to the H&M Home or Crate and Barrel there so I want to check all of those places out and see if we can find any more Christmas decor <laughs> I saw these on Anthro's website, you guys. Look how cute they are. They're little tree candles. And then once you're done with them, you can just use them as little tree decor. But I love how it doubles. Like, I would buy this just as a decor piece, but you get a candle. I think these vessels that Anthro put these candles in are the most beautiful vessel ever. How pretty are these? How fun are these whisk lamps that they have displayed in here? Those are crazy, they're made of cardboard. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they built this as an install. I always love Anthropology's installs. Currently in H&M home and they don't have too much Christmassy items, but I did find this really, really beautiful kind of wool blanket that I love. I love the texture of it. So I think I'm gonna grab that. And then we also found these, this whole candle holder. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, look. It's like when you walk through the nighttime and you need a little candle to get to the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna use that instead of my phone. All right, we made our way to Target. You guys probably already knew I had to come here. And they have some really cute glass trees. These are like mercury glass trees and they're $5 a piece. And I honestly feel like I can grab some of these and DIY them and kind of do a similar thing that I did to those fall rustic hurricanes and kind of turn these into more of a rustic, rusted tree, but use this as a base. And I love the mercury glass finish on it. I also already picked up some of these golden metal trees as well. They have a few different styles. There's like this one here and then they have this more kind of jaggedy one as well, but I plan on spray painting these. I'm not a fan of how shiny they are, but I love the metal base of them. These trees for the uh, new Studio McGee holiday collection at Target, I think are so freaking cute. How cute would these be outdoors, you guys, like outside of your front door or something? I just love the pot and I love how like wispy the actual branches of the tree is. I just don't really know where I would utilize them. Marie wants that. <laughs> Here are these ornament hooks, you guys. They're like twisted metal as opposed to just your traditional kind of like normal green ones, you know, like that. This is twisted gold metal. It's so pretty. They also have it in the silver as well, which I actually really like the silver too. Kind of torn on both. And I got the silver, which is something I'd never normally opt for, but I have an idea. I am at Crate and Barrel. Oh, there's a car gonna hit me. Oh well. Um. <laughs> What I was saying before I almost got hit was that we got a couple of things at the mall. There wasn't too much though. I think it's just because the stores there are a bit on the smaller side. So I did get a couple of really cute items from H&M Home. And then where else did we go, Marie? Anthropology and Target. There's a Target in the mall, but on the smaller side again. I'm outside of Crate and Barrel right now, but I'm gonna take a quick Instagram photo in this little grassy field. And then we're gonna head in and see what they have. I've 
seen this slatted wood tree collar on their site before and it's so pretty. I love it. Look at these little foxes. Oh. And you guys, this kind of goes with the color palette. I wonder if I should get some of these. They're like little Cecil foxes. I just love this palette. Like this is kind of the palette that I'm going for this year right here. These like dark moody, like antiqued metallic tones. Honestly, the disco ball ornaments are also super cute. I love them. Last stop of the night is Home Goods, you guys. Every single store we've been going into has had such a very minimal selection of stuff. So I go in thinking I'm gonna be able to vlog a whole bunch and share with you guys some decor, but every store has just a very minimal amount. But in here, we should have some good finds. Home Goods always has a bunch, so let's check it out. These little tree toppers are so cute, made of fabric, and then they also have them in like the basket material. Some wooden trees, a little deer. This is more like it. Lots and lots of options. I love when you have to dig through everything. It's so much more fun because you feel like you're gonna find a treasure. Like, what's back here? Oh, felt garlands. These ornaments, you guys, look exactly like the ones from Crate and Barrel. And the price, $9.99. And I bet you the Crate and Barrel ones were probably like 60 bucks for a pack of four. I'm gonna grab these. Got these ones as well. These ones are only $6.99. These ornaments here are giving me pool ball vibes. Like literal, like the pool ball that you shoot and hit the other ones with. Maria's finding all of the good stuff, you guys. Look at these ones. I got three packs of ornaments and the ornaments were the same price as one from Aldic, but you know what? Sometimes it's just nice to have those specialty ornaments and I loved going there. So that's all for today, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to a couple stores tomorrow and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Day two of our shopping journey. I'm with my friend Lewis and Marie today. We have a little group going. We are gonna go ahead and go inside of Delamo Mall because there's an R house in here, which I've never been to R house in person before. I don't even know if I'm saying that correct, but they have an R house in here. There's a crate and barrel over here and there might be a couple of other stores. So let's check it out. Getting a little bit of a later start today. The sun's already setting, but you know what? That's all right. We're gonna find some cute things. So let's head in and see what they have. Our house has exactly the kind of ornaments I'm gonna try to recreate. I'm actually gonna purchase one of these just as a reference point. I saw these Turkish stockings on Our House's website, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to come here. And how beautiful is this, you guys? I love it, it's $79. A little pricey for a stocking, but I do love how it's gonna look. I'm just gonna grab one of them though, because I actually have a couple for my store this year that I wanna include in my decor as well. So I'm gonna mix this one in and do kind of like some mismatched stockings. How great is this herringbone flooring? I'm gonna need this in my house in the future. Everything's just so aesthetic. Hey guys, I'm in my new chair, my dining chair <laughs> for my table. Looks like a, a chair a Viking would sit in. A dining in. chair, just a simple dining chair. <laughs> This little hot glue gun ornament. I mean, it's not really with the color palette, but super cute. If you've made it this far, it is time for a haul. I am very, very excited to share with you guys all of the Christmas decor I ended up picking up. I'm wearing my sweatpants, feeling very cozy at the moment. As you guys know, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I really haven't purchased any new Christmas decor. I've had the same stuff for like six or seven years since I've been in college, which is 100% fine, but I figured this year I might as well go ahead, splurge a little bit, get some new Christmas decor to inspire you guys with, and I also just wanted to kind of change up my decor as well. After a couple of years of doing the same thing, you're kind of like, I need a refresh. So I'm gonna be going through every everything around me. There is a bunch of stuff on the ground, you guys. I got so much stuff, and a lot of stuff I actually didn't even share in the vlog portion of the video, so it's gonna be a little bit surprising. Also, everything I do feature is gonna be linked in the description box below, but let's dive on in. I can't even sit, there's too much stuff, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna start off with Target because I really did get the most stuff there, and it's probably the most affordable stuff in today's video as well, so let's just dive right in. One of the first items I actually found were these little berry stems, and I thought these were so pretty because I love how wispy they were, and 
and almost sparse at the same time. I've really been into very sparse plants lately or stems or floral picks and these I just loved. I love the red color as well so I picked up four of those. I then went ahead and picked up two throw pillows. The first one here is this green one. I just loved this. I love how it has a little Christmas tree on the side. It has this kind of chunky woven texture in the middle. It's this really pretty kind of foresty green color. I also picked up another throw pillow here. This one's really cute. I've seen this one so many times and I finally decided to pick it up because every time I walk past it I'm like do I really need that? And I did need it, so I got it. It has these knitted Christmas tree designs on it, but I love it because it's ivory, super simple. It's a great layering piece. It has a bunch of texture in it, and it also has just a slight Christmas element without screaming Christmas. I got this really pretty green chunky knit blanket. This is from the Studio McGee line. I believe both of those pillows are as well, but I loved the tassels on the end, love the color of the blanket, how chunky it was, and honestly, the blankets and throws they've been putting out lately from their line have been top notch. Moving into a little bit of decor from Target, I actually picked up these metal trees here which these are so so cool they're like brass metal but a little bit of a toned down brass and they're just metal cut out trees and then there's a larger one as well the larger one was $20 smaller one was 15 I got this pack of bell vase filler which I'm not too sure if I'm gonna actually use this as vase filler like in a vase or something or I might even turn them into ornaments just because there were so many really pretty brass bells in here so I figured I could also utilize those as ornaments so I picked up this pack which was I believe oh yeah just only $10 a couple weeks back while I was at Target, I came across these spruce garlands and spruce wreaths, and I just loved them. So I picked them up. These are from the Studio McGee line as well. I thought I'd go ahead and share them with you guys. This is what the wreath looks like. It is so pretty. It has a white ceramic bell hanging from the top here. I believe this was around $30 to $40, but I also picked up four packs of the cedar garland that matched, and I am so excited. I actually plan to utilize this in my archway in kind of the dining room area. I want to put this over the top of the arch. So I got four strands of that kind of a little random item that I picked up were these twisted taper candles I thought they were cute six bucks for two and I could just utilize these in some taper holders These are those little glass trees. I found in the dollar spot. So I got these two um, A little bit of a smaller one and then these two trees as well So I think I'm gonna go ahead and DIY those there's target items everywhere I forgot I had these too. So I picked up this little roll of ribbon here from wonder shop It's 21 feet in length. I thought this would be cute maybe to decorate gifts with I actually didn't get this in the mindset of Christmas. I got this a couple weeks back, but I thought it would be perfect to utilize because I haven't been able to use it yet. These really pretty little red flowers in this little white pot or like a tannish toned pot. And last but not least, this bowl that came out with the Studio McGee line is so pretty. I just had to pick this up. I know it's not very Christmassy. It was $35 and they call it an antique wood bowl. This is also an option that you can go ahead and add your vase filler into. Um, just kind of make a little potpourri section in there and just add it on a coffee table or something. Now to the left of me, you guys probably see these little trees here. Now I actually did a little TikTok with JCPenney and they sent along these little cute trees. I just wanted to share them because I just adore them. Look how cute the little basket is at the bottom. They're so pretty. I just love how small they are. And there's two different sizes. There's this kind of more minier size and then a larger one. Oh my gosh, do we have more Target, you guys? Target is just coming out. Oh yes, we do have a little bit more Target. And that's because I got those little hooks, if you remember, those ornament hooks in the silver, which I think is going to be so pretty. And I also, you guys, picked up five of these bells these little silver bell ornaments and that's because i've been seeing so many people with antique brass bells this year but if you search them online they literally cost like a hundred dollars a piece so i'm gonna antique these myself and these were only three bucks a piece so i thought those were a good deal but let me share with you guys some of the ornaments that i ended up getting from home goods this first pack here they're kind of like shimmery little glass ornament balls that have a mercury glass to them there's a little bit of glitter on there but it has that antiqued metal look that i've really been loving lately now these are open and and these are so beautiful. They're also extremely heavy. The tops are also so nice as well. I love these ornaments. And this was a four pack for, um, how much were these ones? They were free. I don't even know. And then this last pack here, I also love. I love the more wider ones in here. I think they kind of look like actual ceramic. And this was $12.99 for a pack of 12. Now you guys also saw me go to Aldic Home, which is a Los Angeles kind of Christmas 
Oasis. A lot of people in LA go there to buy their Christmas decor, and I've never been before, so I decided to go this year. Definitely a little bit on the pricier side, and their ornaments are so pretty. So I got this one here, which is like a blown glass ornament. I love how the top, I don't know if you guys can see that, how the top actually is kind of wrapped with glass as well. I got this one as well, which is a, just a circular shape, and it kind of is more of a smoky glass with an iridescent finish to it. I also got this one, which is super pretty. It's like a rose gold with some glitter. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got these. Look at these ones. It's so pretty. I just have been loving brown lately. Lots of really rich tones have been kind of my preference. So I love this ornament as well. I basically got duplicates of a lot of the ones you saw there. So I'm not going to go through absolutely all of them. My anthropology finds are just right here. So let me share those with you guys too. I got this really pretty kind of like boucle pillow. I'm not sure if they call this boucle, but it honestly is. It has like this butterscotchy tone to it. It has like brown and yellow and cream and a brass zipper on the side. Now this is definitely not screaming Christmas to me, but I want to incorporate it in my decor because I'm doing a very warm tree so I figured that adding some warm toned pillows mixed in with you know maybe like that cream knitted one and even that green one would be so pretty and then also from anthropology I got this stunning brass bell I don't know what I'm going to do with it I'm probably just gonna style it you know on top of a coffee table or a bookshelf or something and then I also got a couple more candles you guys I actually ended up getting the one up there which is spiced cider it's amazing and then I got two very blatantly Christmas scented ones this one is just fresh balsam and cedar wood, which just smells exactly like a lovely Christmas tree. And this one I think is eucalyptus and balsam. I just thought this actual vessel that it was in was beautiful. I love this so much. One of my favorite candle vessels that Anthropology has done. We have a couple items here, you guys, from H&M Home. The first piece I got was this candlestick holder. Um, we have some fluff flying around, but this I thought was just, again, so cute. Not screaming Christmas, but definitely I can add like a red taper candle or even the twisted taper. Like you guys look look at this a little twisted taper candle in there how cute i also picked up this throw blanket which is so pretty the reason i got this was because it was so chunky so natural it had flecks of just brown and warmth in it again kind of going for that vibe for christmas this year so this is not again screaming christmas but it just adds the element of cozy to your space and then lastly from h&m home i just picked up this little marble bowl i just thought i'd put it on top of the coffee table or a set of books or something you can use it just to kind of add some little trinkets or jewelry too and last but not least you guys we have our house and i'm crunched i'm crunched in my location at the moment from our house you guys saw me pick up this ornament which again going with the theme of antique metals this is kind of what I want to recreate for my DIY ornaments this year so I picked this up as a reference point but I also of course will utilize it on the tree I got one stocking just because I love the stockings this year over on Lone Fox's site which by the way guys I have a whole line of home decor I never share my own stuff I don't know why I feel so bad like pushing it on you guys so if you want to check it out it's over on lonefox.com an entire line of Christmas decor but I got this stocking from our house House, which is almost like a rug style stocking like a Turkish woven stocking and this was $79 it has a linen backing to it it is just so pretty and I want to style this with the Sherpa one from my site because I think the textures will go really nicely together the last piece I got from our house is a very large vase this was $69 which I feel like is honestly a pretty decent price for a piece this large but I want to style this on top of the coffee table with some Christmas branches kind of coming out of the top of it maybe not those red target ones but something a little bit more like a cedar branch or just something just kind of overflowing out of the top of this vintagey style pottery I know I didn't get too many many things. Well, actually, honestly, I kind of did get a lot, but I do have stuff from last year I'm going to be going ahead and utilizing, but I just wanted to pick up some new items to feel like I had a fresh, like, fresh decor to work with for this season, which I'm so excited about, and I'm also extremely excited for the new Christmas tree to arrive. I really want to put it in, like, a pot or a basket or something. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below, and also don't forget to check out Simply Safe, today's video sponsor, if you guys have not already. I've had my Simply Safe forever. It is such an amazing home security system. If you saw any decor pieces, that you liked or you want to pick up for the holiday season definitely make sure to order quickly so you can get it shipped to you before christmas time but i will catch you guys all in my next video have an amazing rest of your day and i'll catch you in the next one bye everybody